Hello everyone. As well as accumulating a huge mountain of unpainted lead and plastic figures, um, over the over the years I've also built up a, a significant number of model buildings that uh, I've just put away and never got around to painting up. So I've made a sort of resolution to include a, a building on my work top for the next couple of months and try and get through a few of them and the first one to come off the production line is this building here which uh, I'll just show you the box to to begin with very quickly it's um, a 15 mil building from Wargamer Poland who do the uh, Polish Renaissance, Eastern Renaissance rules called by fire and sword and what it is is a, a noble house it's got noble house three so presumably they do two other types of noble house as well um, I think it's rather a splendid building just go back to the building itself um, now this is going to do me first of all for the rules by fire and sword and I've, I've still not got round to painting up two armies for that yet I've, I've got my Cossacks completed so here's a command stand from the, the Cossack army for you to judge the size of the building as I say 15 mil scale um, but it's also going to do me this building for the Russian Civil War. It's ideal for that um, because it's the kind of building you would get virtually anywhere from Poland through the Ukraine um, into Russia possibly. And um, my other thoughts about it are that I've it, it does look very similar to some uh, buildings that you might get in the Crimea. Now, as you probably know, I'm, I'm big on the Crimean War and, and building up an 18 mm uh, armies to play that. So here's uh, Lord Raglan in 18 mm and he, he's large for it. Yeah, but I don't think it will matter too much. And um, this is exactly the sort of building that Raglan would have uh, chosen as his headquarters during the siege of Sevastopol. Um, so it's going to do it's going to do for that as well. Um, it comes in a number of parts. You have to glue it together. Um, show you the other side as well. It's pretty much uh, symmetrical all the way around. Um, you have to glue the chimneys onto the roof. The roof is detachable, but I've let, I've glued it down. Um, and there is also a separate kind of woodwork frame kind of porch here that you have to fit in, and some wooden steps there that you have to glue on. Now I've glued these wooden steps to the this side of the house with this door here. Otherwise. There's quite a dramatic um, step up to this door. Um, if I take you back to that, you can see it's up to above waist height. So I think that's where the steps are meant to be. Um, however, on the artwork, the steps are on the other side of the, the house, up against that wooden wooden framed entrance and yet I couldn't for the life of me get it to fit there it was a struggle to um, to get the actual wooden frame to fit in and then it, it leaves no space to uh, get the steps in so I, I thought it made more sense to put it on the other side and that looks like sort of wooden steps up whether that is the front or the back of the house I don't know because that door is a lot grander so I think that is the front of the house there um, and the other the other area is a sort of rear entrance for um because there's three doors one on either side and one facing the the opening 
So I think the main entrance is actually around the around that side. Anyway, that's it. I'm quite pleased with that. It's first first building um, done. I've got lots more to do, and uh, I'll show you those as I as I get them completed. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Bye for now.